The Australian government has decided to offer £10,000 for the first successful flight from London to Australia in a British-built machine manned by Australians. Probably one of the most important flights ever. The only thing I can put it down to is an absolute love of aviation. Our story begins here, in outback South Australia, on this vast sheep farming property known as Mutaru. The brothers Ross and Keith Smith prepared to leave Hounslow, England, in a Vickers Beamy aeroplane, in weather considered unsuitable for flying. Out over the English Channel, the Vimy ran into a violent snowstorm. As they were flying, the crew's goggles froze over. Instruments started to fail. Even their sandwiches froze. But dangerously, ice started to form on the wings, making the Vimy heavy and hard to handle. There were moments during the flight that seemed like it was all over. Anxiety felt. Position of Vimy GEAOU uncertain. Ross and Keith Smith flew over countries that had never seen an aeroplane before. The Indonesian villagers had to lay this bamboo runway so the plane could take off. Fifty Indian cavalrymen held the plane down all night in a raging sandstorm. It really felt like the world was willing these men across the line. The flight wasn't just uh, a big moment for Australia, it was, it was worldwide news. They had become global superstars. When you fly on the space shuttle as a crew member, you're allowed to fly mementos of personal significance. So I chose to fly these, the wings of Ross and Keith Smith. Some people say that this plane is the spirit of St. Louis of Australia. Absolutely, more than that. I think this is the moon landing for Australia. Ross Smith was Australia's first great aviation pioneer. The legacy is astonishingly important. They laid the foundations for the types of long haul flights we now take for granted. We were top of the world when it came to aviation. <laughs>